This might actually be my very favorite craft right now. I am in love with these bright colored knotted keychains. Once you get this awesome knot down, they're so much fun to make. You'll want to try it with all different types of cord and color combinations. So let's get started. I'm starting with a nice thick piece of bright orange cord. Don't forget to thread your key ring onto your cord before you start, and then tape it onto your work surface. And once that's sturdy, here's how you make the knot. Cross the cords, weave under, keeping your ends nice and even. Pull these loops down, twist and twist. Then cross the loops so it looks just like that. With your right end, weave underneath. With your left end, weave under, over, under, over, and under. When the knot is very loose, it looks just like that, which you can see is the beginning of this. Begin to tighten. Hold it flat and tug a little bit on the ends. Using your hand to keep it flat, make sure it doesn't twist. A little more room at the top. Tighten that way. Pretty good, actually. And you can make your knot a little looser or a little tighter, depending on the style. That's why it's so much fun to experiment with this. I'm happy with my knot, so untape. Pick some colors of embroidery floss that you like. I think bright yellow, pale pink, maybe some bright blue, would all look really great with this orange. This part is a lot like making a friendship bracelet. Trim a bit of the embroidery floss and thread it through a needle with the big eye. I like to sew a little bit on this part because it makes it super secure and strong. So one stitch, flip over and tie a knot. Now wrap the embroidery floss around this section to create this great color banded wrap. Nice pink band right at the top and flip it over and with your needle stitching up the back of your colored band is an almost invisible way to hide the knot. So if that knot wasn't secure enough I like to add a tiny dab of super strength E6000 glue. This pink band looks really nice, and I think I'll close it up with a bright band of blue. So I've finished the, the blue, the magenta, and this pink and yellow in the same way. Tiny dab of a nice strong glue. One more tiny band of yellow. The glue is completely dry now, so with the scissors, snip about an inch or an inch and a half. And with a nice sturdy pin, Pick out the ends, just like you're unfraying this braiding that's in the cord. You get these beautiful finished fringy tassel ends. They look pretty cute. There's so many variations you can make. Double cord, fun crazy cord, who knows where you'll find inspiration for these keychains. And you'll never lose your keys again. Mm -hmm.